woke up like this. Did you though? I really did. I what woke time up. is it? It's 10 a.m. A.m. or p.m. Fool. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's 10 p.m. You guys don't need to know that. It's 10 a.m. on your end, okay? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little different. I wanna share with you guys how I make my coffee at home, AKA the best coffee you will ever have. I always share with you guys what I drink, what I love, things that are delicious for us. Are you, are you really filming? We're on. Oh, okay. Recently, I talked to you guys about it. I shared with you guys what I bought because I cheated on my baby. I'm so sorry, I still love you, but it was the best thing I ever did. This new machine right here, my Nespresso, has been the biggest game changer in our household. We no longer want Starbucks. I feel like we finally found a match. I agree. We finally found a match, and this coffee is so good, it will change your life. And, and we're saving money. We're no longer going to Starbucks. And, and, wait, what was I gonna say? Yep. And it's so good. You guys, I'm being serious. It is literally the most delicious coffee I've had in so long. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it. It's really easy to use. And the reason I want to show you guys how to make it is because I want you guys to enjoy what I'm enjoying. Like, I want you guys to taste what I'm tasting. You know what I mean? So this is my new Nespresso machine. I really don't know the name on this, but I will list it right here. Nice, sleek, matte. You put your water here, your capsules in here, and then we have a frother. It is the easiest thing to use. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to use it, why I love it. So Sebas, would you like an actual coffee? Please. Okay. Um, at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. Uh, because you're gonna edit this immediately so we can get this <laughs> Let's go. So this is our coffee mug collection. We're kind of addicted to coffee. Um, we love coffee mugs from Starbucks. Anywhere we travel in the world, we've always brought a mug back. So we get Amsterdam. LA, Waikiki, Dubai, Twin Cities, Paris, Austria, Guadalajara, like we have everything. And then of course we have more you know mugs. You know what I'm about to say right now, right? What? What? You know what I'm about to say right now? What do you have to say? Flex. Possibilities are endless here. And then on this side over here, we have more coffee. We have our travel mugs up there. This is when we were using our Brevilla. I know you guys are probably wondering, why did you cheat on Brevilla? Like she was so good to you, you raved about her, you've been on her for a few years. Just like any other relationship, you get a little bored. You get old, you get bored, and you wanna try something new. Is that what's gonna happen to me? <laughs> I mean, you've been here for 10 years. I think you're stuck for, with me forever now. Sorry, baby. But honestly, I love this so much, but sometimes I would want more coffee. This only presses two shots for you, while this one gives you like a full cup of coffee, and that's kind of what I need. So I definitely think this one is a little bit more time consuming, and you definitely have to practice with it a lot versus this one. It's like, bum, 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 and you're done. That's my explanation on that. Moving on along to the new baby. All right, so this is the mug we're gonna use today, and the machine is pretty easy to use. All you need is a mug, your little capsule, and then some creamer, and that is it, or whatever you wanna use, milk creamer. So you pop this open, and when you have one in there, it throws it back so it clears it out for you. And then from there, you're gonna grab your little capsule and just insert it in there. So I put all of mine in this cute little canister. I got this at Home Goods, And inside are all of the coffees that we like. I personally love the vanilla, the hazelnut, the caramel. I recently purchased Cafe de Cuba. We got the vanilla princess cake. Cinnamon swirl, because who doesn't love cinnamon swirl? In the store when I purchased the machine, I actually got free coffee. They gave me this whole thing for free to try out. So I thought that was pretty cool and really nice of them to do that. So this is the coffee size that we went with. What's cool about this machine is that it actually makes, I believe, five different sizes of coffee from espresso to the next size, next size, and up. So this pours out like a pretty medium sized coffee. And when you put it in there, it actually has a barcode that this reads. So it knows exactly how much coffee to bring out. If you guys ever shop for these online, you'll notice the different sizes, and it's because those sizes make the kind of coffee that you want. So because we're coffee junkies who don't love coffee, this is gonna give us a pretty good amount. So we're gonna pop it in there, close our little canister. Before I close it and start it, I'm gonna froth my creamer. So, I know it sounds crazy, but I bought a frother. I was so sold on this when the guy showed me how to use it. So pretty much you put your milk in here, and it's gonna froth it up for you really nice. You're gonna get that nice foamy milk. I asked him, can you put almond milk? Can you put creamer? And he's like, it won't froth it up exactly as much as milk, but I mean, you could definitely put it in there. I hear a lot of people saying that you can't put almond milk. I'll show you right now that you can, because it tastes so good. So pretty much there's two lines in here. Line one is gonna make you a cappuccino, which is this line right here where it says max. That's gonna make you a cappuccino. Line two is gonna be a latte. So with creamer, I don't want that much 
creamer. I only need like enough to like where the cappuccino line is. That's a perfect amount for me. That's pretty much it, guys. It's like the simplest thing to use. So my favorite creamer right now is from Silk. It's the almond creamer in the vanilla flavor. Best creamer ever. Low key, yeah. Low key, some us don't even like almond milk. He don't like anything almond milk. He hates almond milk. He I loves like this creamer. Milk, but that's really good. He loves this creamer. Amelie loves this creamer now. Like I put her on this one. It's one of the best creamers at the moment, in my opinion. I tried other creamers, they're pretty good, but this one beats it. Only four grams of sugar, which really isn't a lot, and only 25 calories, so it's really not that bad, and I really like it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. So again, we're gonna go ahead and pour to the cappuccino line. I actually probably poured a little bit too much, but it's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and close the lid on that. So you push it down once, it's gonna make it hot. If you push it down for two seconds, it's gonna give you cold. So in case you ever want a nice cold coffee and you want your milk to be frothy but cold, it can do that as well. We're gonna go ahead and press this one down. Push the coffee. And it's gonna go ahead and dispense a really nice, creamy, rich coffee. I absolutely love seeing this come out. Look at the creaminess on that. It is so good, it's so hot. I can't do a design, but I'll do my best. And then afterwards, I personally just like to take in my spoon and mix it all together because I wanna make sure that creamer is all the way down there. Look, this is no joke, you see that? It's hot in there. All right, so much, here you go. Thank you. Am I the official coffee taster? You are the official coffee taster. Of 2019 Coffee Olympics. Great froth. Texture. Mm. Keep going. Saturating the flavor, like the coffee by itself has a great, 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 great taste. Um, literally amazing. It's <laughs> enough to give you that coffee fix. Like I taste pure coffee, and I love that. I love it when it's a little bitter. I love it when it's a little sweet as well. Um, but here, it's just like in the middle. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect. literally perfect. Can I try some? Of course. Mmm. Ah. So good, so, so good. So that is it, guys. That is it on how I make my coffee. It's literally the simplest thing ever. Definitely I, your current obsession. I get an at-home cafe experience with it. I definitely feel like i rather have coffee at home than go out, and that's the best feeling in the world. When you can have your own coffee at home, your experience, you get to enjoy it in your own home. You can be naked for all you want. That's the best feeling in the world. This coffee's so good, it gets you wired, it's delicious. I highly recommend it. If you guys are in-store shopping and are unsure which flavors to get, my biggest recommendations is caramel, vanilla, and cinnamon swirl, and cafe de cuba, if you want it to be a little stronger on some days. But um, try this out, let me know what you guys think. I know when I posted it on my Instagram the other day, I received so many DMs about the coffee. So many people were sending me screenshots that they purchased it, so it made me really happy. So I wanted to make sure I gave you guys a little toot on how to use it, how I like to use it, and why I love it so much. That is it, guys. So now it's 10 p.m., 10 a.m., sorry. I'm gonna go and drink this, I'm gonna be wired for the night, and <laughs> hope I can go to bed soon. It's 10 p.m. They don't really know that. It's 10 a.m. It's 10 p.m. No, it's not. It's 10 a.m. Right. <laughs> it is really 10 p.m., guys. Look, it's dark as hell outside. <laughs> I hope you have a good rest of your day. Enjoy your coffee. And let me know if you guys have the machine or if you're going to get it and if you make it. And what you guys And it's a great it. Christmas present. It is, but that's going to be on my gift guide, so we can't give too much away. This Okay, guys, you already know now. This is going to be one of the machines on my gift guide, and I cannot wait for you guys to get it for your loved one. Or for your loved one to get it for you. <laughs> Peace. Peace.